Growth Educator here. We're in a teaching series called What Good Learners Do. Today, we're on lesson number six called Improve Communication. Good learners consistently and continuously improve their communication. When I was in college, I reluctantly became a speech communication major. I didn't want to go that route, but because I was having great difficulty in a major, I realized I needed to find some way to graduate, to get a degree, and to finish this goal that I had in mind, something that no one in my family had done before. I decided to become a speech communication major. After making that change, my life improved dramatically. I became more confident because I knew in any situation, my communication could help me to soar. I became more confident because I could figure out who I was and who others were through my improved communication. Today, we're going to talk about what good learners do. Good learners improve their communication. First, we're going to talk about the types of communication. Second, we're going to talk about a strategy you might be able to implement to improve your communication. Third, we're going to talk to you about why someone would improve their communication by using the strategy. I suggest finally, we'll deal with some ways in which we can actionably improve our communication. Let's start with types of communication. There are multiple types of ways that we communicate. Interpersonally, that's you communicating with others. Mass communication, that's television, movies, and even social media. Listening is a form of communication. Public speaking is a form of communication. Intrapersonal communication, this is when you speak to yourself. You can improve yourself by speaking to yourself. Writing is a form of communication. Last on this non-exhaustive list is nonverbal communication. Now, how can we improve one or two of these elements that I've just mentioned here? There's a fabulous technique, which I'm doing actually right now. It's called micro-teaching. Micro-teaching is when you film or record an audio of yourself, and then you review the film or the audio. It's just like a sports team plays the game, practices, videotapes themselves, and then reviews the film so that they can improve their play. In the same way, a communicator can film or record the audio of them speaking, and they can improve their communication by reviewing the film and giving themselves feedback or receiving feedback from another person. Now, we improve our communication through micro-teaching. Micro-teaching is a factor which helps to improve learning, and according to John Hattie in 2018 in the book Visible Learning, he suggested that out of 256 learning strategies that he did in a meta-study, where he studied a whole bunch of different learning strategies, micro-teaching was 13th most effective of 256 ways that you can improve your learning. Micro-teaching is a practice that can improve your learning and improve. In what ways do we apply micro-teaching? Set up a camera, set up an audio, and record an interview of yourself. Set up a camera, set up an audio, and record yourself practicing a business deal. Set up a camera, set up an audio, and record yourself practicing a presentation. After you're done practicing the presentation, review the film and or the audio, review the film or the audio and ask yourself some questions toward improvement. Like, what did I do well? What did I do poorly? And what can I improve for next time? In this lesson, we discussed types of communication for improved communication. We discussed how you can improve your communication through micro-teaching. We discussed why micro-teaching is an effective way to improve your communication. And then we also have given you three different ways that you can apply micro-teaching. Good learners improve communication. If you want to be a good learner, utilize this strategy of micro-teaching and watch your life grow beyond limits.